Hi there, my name is Kyle Hall. I'm a senior at the College of William & Mary in Virginia studying computer science. Um, I'll be applying to the Kleiner Perkins Product Fellows Program, therefore I'll be telling you about the last product I used that took my breath away, which is the iPhone 6. I'm kidding. That's not allowed. It's the pop socket attached to the back of it. The pop socket is a nifty little gadget with abundant potential. Honestly, I was skeptical at first. I got it for free, don't tell. But as I've adopted it as part of my life, I've grown to appreciate it more and more. It enables you to do so many things. Its main functionality is that it provides a vertical aspect of the phone where one was lacking before. This allows you to balance your phone on two fingers and frees up your thumb and forefinger for multi-touch applications, which, believe me, is very useful in a number of situations. That, however, is not the only thing that you can use the pop socket for. Um, you can use it as a stand, as you can see. You just put it on the back, lean it up against something. Perfect for video streaming, perfect for video gaming, perfect for anything you can think of, really. And not only those, not only those two use cases, but like you can use it in an incredibly diverse number of ways. Um, for example, I personally have popped it into a chain link fence. Perfect place to hold your phone if you're by a chain link fence. Um, you can wrap your headphones around it. Really use it in like any way that your creativity sees fit. Um, I think that the pop socket is a very unique item in that aspect. Uh, it's like such a basic addition to the phone that it can be exploited in just so many ways. Um, it's up to the user, really, which is a great. Um, but it's also it's not only unique in that way. I think that it's a unique item in that while I'm no expert in industrial engineering, it must be incredibly easy to manufacture. If we take a closer look at it, um, the pop socket is just like this cap bit, a little piece of plastic, and some adhesive. Um, that has to be almost instantaneous on an assembly line, um, just by any logic, like injection molding, like 3D printing. It must be so cheap to manufacture, and they're selling it at a huge markup, um, which honestly is probably why not so many people have them. But idea, the market is incredibly untapped. Off the top of my head, I know hundreds of people with smart devices that do not have pop sockets. Who could have pop sockets? Um, I think that social media campaigns, maybe some price adjustments, new marketing strategies, they could really uh, fully fully exploit the market there. Um, I also think that they could start selling in bulk to other corporations who are looking for new swag items. Um, a swag item is something that's given out at like a career fair or something like that with the company's branding on it. Um, yeah, you could just pop your branding right on there over the Fox image. Um, it would be perfect swag. Uh, I think that would be a, like a new market for PopSocket to move into, and I think that would be a very good idea for them. Um, as you can see, I'm quite impressed with the PopSocket. I hope that you are too, and I hope that you have a great day, and thank you for the consideration.